Hello everyone. So I'm here to do a flip through of the coloring book, I Heart Flamingos. Um, this is by Sterling Children's Books. Uh, this is a book that I purchased off of Book Outlet. Um, and if you saw, I don't know if that, I don't know what order my videos are going up, but um, in my Book Outlet haul video, I mentioned that I saw this book come up. Whenever I see a book come up that I'm not sure what the images are on the inside, I will go to YouTube and try and find a flip through. And I couldn't find uh, one of I Heart Flamingo, so I thought I would come on here today to do a quick flip through in case anyone is interested. So we start with our cover and with the I Heart Flamingos books. So I, um, this one is the larger size. I believe they come in a smaller um, mini size. I believe this one, oh, I don't have my measuring stick on me. It's probably seven by seven, I'm gonna say. Um, so I was a bit surprised because I thought I was getting the smaller um, version, but I'm perfectly okay with this. Um, so yeah. So uh, with these I Heart books, you have your image on the right-hand side, and on the following side, you're gonna have a rotating uh, wall paper background, so you can use your alcohol markers. You just have to make sure you put your blotter pages in. The um, background on the left-hand side of the page does rotate, and there is a, a variety of images in their books with a variety of styles. So I like it because you seem to get a little bit of everything in one book. So there is, I've noticed in this particular book, there's the cute style. You have your Zen doodly style. I call, I would think this is more like a thin line work. And I like it because you also get a variety of background, like images that are a full page. You get images where it's more of like maybe I would say a patterny. That's cute. It's a little toucan. Cute little pineapples. Um, and I love them because they're so unique. There really is a like they think of everything with these books. This is my first I Heart book. Um, but I've watched a lot of flip throughs of them and I have been interested in, in, um, a few of them like a flamingo necklace. Come on. They really do think of everything. That one's quite pretty too. The flower makes up the flamingo. We have some feathers. A very zen doodly page but um as i've seen tons of other people mention you don't need to color in each and every little zen doodly spot you can block it in the whole one color and just having the line work there will give um detail so you don't need to color it um each little piece love this one i think that one's pretty unique too some banners a little drink Walking flamingos, beautiful butterflies, quite like this one too with all the little charms and buttons, some flamingo balloons, my youngest daughter is going to love this book, she hasn't seen it yet. I have suspect she's going to try to steal it from me. <laughs> oh, look at that. A cute little shield with the little flamingos or crest. Oh, what a beautiful little crown. And I like how some of them have the black work on it. Black details. Flock of flamingos. That is one dressed up flamingo. She looks happy as can be. I quite like this one. Um, this one looks like one of those neon signs. Uh, it would have been neat if the background was painted black on this particular one and use like neon, um, neon gel. Some of your, oh, what do you call them? 
gel pens. Oh my goodness, it's too early here. Um, neon gel pens to color this in. I think that would be so adorable. And I don't use neon gel pens that much. Um, so this would be a great opportunity to use them up. So I, I might actually take my black acrylic paint and paint in the back, paint in everything of this and then color in all the line work with those neon uh, gel pens. I think, I think that'd look really neat and a great use for them. Cause as I said, I don't really use those colors very much. I really like this one too. It's gorgeous. Some pretty flowers. These are some fancy looking birds. Beautiful little flamingos. So cute. And like uh, talking about the uniqueness of their images, like look at this one here, all done with um, like geometric shapes. I love this. So different. So I was really happy. Um, you know, it's always a gamble when you pick up a book and you're not sure what the images are like on the inside. Oh, I love this. Like, look at this little drinks. Come on, perfect page to color for summer. Um, but as I was saying, it's always a, a risk you take when you order a book and you can't find a flip through because you don't really know what you're going to get. So I was really, really um, happy once I got this in and I flipped through it and I went, yeah, yeah, I, I like this one. Because, <laughs> um, you know, I'm not like, I'm just like everybody else. There's been tons of times where I've picked up books and I've taken a look at them and went, hmm. Nope, really wish I could have found a flip through of this particular one. It's a very zen doodly bird. And look at this one, it's done like it's a little cross stitch. So unique. And we got our snow globe. Nice little mandala. Very zen doodly image here again. It's cute. And as you can tell, you get so many different images in this book. I quite like this one too. Okay. So that's the end of the book. I wonder if it says, does it say anywhere in the front? I was wondering if it said how many pages, but it doesn't. But as you can see, I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty thick book. So I was quite happy with this one. Um, so yes, so this is, uh, this was, cause we're done now, um, was a flip through of the book, I Heart Flamingos, um, from Sterling Children's book. So I hope you enjoyed um this flip through if you have any questions or comments please leave it in the um comment section below and yeah i hope you all have a fantastic day and we will see you all again soon thank you so much for watching bye bye